All right, guys. Week six assignment one. This time with the mic on. Yeah, I know. I saw the video and didn't hear anything. The mic was not turned on. Uh, just a little tidbit, you know. These, these fun times, fun times, all right? Good times. All right. So here it's gonna be a short video. I promise you guys, the work's already done. I'm just gonna kind of narrate through it, and hopefully the second time through. I'll be a lot faster than the 10 minutes that the first video was. Uh, number one. Now, let's see. Number one here. So, just so you can know that I'm actually doing it. See how the ink matches, right? This is me. We're solving for the volume of a sphere, so it's going to be units cubed. So, here, we're going to have to solve for volume. We have a formula, 4 pi r cubed over 3. r is equal to 8 meters. Right? So, r is equal to 8 meters. And we just plug it in. We plug it in. We know that 8 times 8 times 8 is 512. 512 times 4 is 2048. 2048 divided by 3 is 682.67 times pi. And we multiply by pi, which is 2144.66 meters squared. Not squared, cubed. Excuse me. So again, we always want to try to multiply pi at the very end that we are not having decimal floating around and just kind of going through every step of the way um, but yeah that is how you do that one number three it's the uh, same steps just you're doing one more extra step and that's finding the radius you're given the diameter so you're dividing by two all right half of 34 is 17 and then we plug in 17 all right so we plug in 17 and then multiply 17 times 17 times 17, right? We cube it. We get 4,913. Multiply it by pi. Now pi number, sorry, times 4. And then we get 1965.2 times pi, right? Divided by 3, but we divide by 3 first. So after we divide by 3, we're going to get 6,550.67 times pi. And then here our volume will be 20,579.53 meters cubed for that sphere. Okay, so the next one, we're still working with volume. Again, you have the other examples to help you throughout the way, the even numbers, two, four, six, and so on. Here, number five, all right, let's see if I can zoom in a bit. So number five, it's not. It is, so I'll try to center it still. It is half a sphere, so our formula is 4 pi r cubed over 3, half of 4 is 2, so half of the sphere is 2 pi r cubed over 3, so the formula for a hemisphere is, again, 2 pi r cubed over 3. So we got our radius, we just plug it in, we just plug it in, right, see, so we just plug it in here, and then multiply 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27, times 2 is 54, divided by 3 is 18, 18 times pi, is 56.55 kilometers cubed for a volume of this hemisphere that is how you do number five okay so moving on number seven this is going to be surface area so surface area is going to be a little different surface area is going to be a little different yeah this is supposed to be a star there you go it's going to be a little different and here's why it's just four pi r squared that's the formula you have r plug it in 11 times 11 is 121 times 4 is 484 times pi. Multiply pi, you get 1520.53 centimeters squared. And that is the outside, that is the outside of the sphere itself. So just the surface, like the skin of a basketball or baseball or soccer ball, whatever sport you play. Okay, so if you want to see number 8, let me zoom out a bit just in case you want to see the whole picture. All right, so now, just moving on. Surface area. Okay, so number nine. We want to find the surface area. And we're given a diameter. So our diameter here, right, is 15. Half of 15 is 7.5 meters. So then we plug in for R. Multiply 7.5 squared, which is 56.25. Multiply that by 4 is 225 pi. Multiply that by pi is 706.86 meters squared. Surface area is always squared. So remember that. That's why it's meters squared. It's area. 
All right, so number 11, it's, uh, it's a bit tricky. A lot of students struggle with, uh, with this formula because they think it's half a sphere, so it's half the area. And in essence, it is, but it isn't. But you have this area here, so once you cut it in half, it counts. Now you have new area, all right? So this area is a circle, so this is a great circle, right? So this area is also being counted. So you have your formula, all right? So you have 2 pi r squared, yes, is divided by 2, right? Which gives us 2, so 4 pi r squared divided by 2 is 2. But now we have a plus. We have this circle here that we have to add to it. So 2 plus 1, right, is 3. This is where 3 pi r squared comes from. The formula for surface area of a hemisphere is 3 pi r squared. So now we use that. We have r equals, plug it in, and then we get 9.1 squared. Multiply that, right? We get 82.81 times 3, 248.43 pi, multiply pi. Then our surface area for a hemisphere is 780.47 meters squared. And that is how you do number 11. Again, I just want to kind of clarify that, that area, the surface area formula for a hemisphere. So just a heads up, guys, if you hear thunder, right, because it's raining outside. So you know, maybe some background rainwater uh, will help you love math. I don't know. All right, 13. We have word problems. Now, I know how much we love them. So we find the volume of a hemisphere with a great circumference of 37.7 centimeters. Now here, the circumference, all right, the circumference is 2 pi r is equal to 37.7. So the circumference, we have to solve for r. So once we solve for r, all right, this is how you set it up. So we, we're working backwards here. Let's see. So 2 pi r, all right, we divide 2 pi to both sides. Hopefully you can see that. If you can't, no, you can't see that. Let me erase it. Let's see, 2 pi r, let's use uh, opposing color, let's use red. So divide by 2, same thing, same thing. 2 pi, all right, divide by 2 pi. All right, and then we get this here. So we get this. Once we do that, we get that. So once we solve for r, which is going to be 6.00, and we can add that, so it kind of keeps going, the number, so I stopped that at 6. So we have 6 centimeters. We plug it in. We have 6 times 6 times 6, which is 216, times 2 is 432. Now here I accidentally multiplied pi, you know, but it, it's fine. You still get the same answer. Divide by 3, we get 452.39, and then our volume for this hemisphere is 452.39 centimeters cubed. That's how you do number 13. You got to work backwards. Okay, now 14 is there if you guys want it. Now here, 15. The diameter of a standard basketball is 9.5 inches, so I wrote it in orange because basketballs are orange, unless they change colors in the last 20 years. If the basketballs are covered in rubber, what is the minimal amount of rubber? needed to manufacture a set of four basketballs so here our our basketballs are gonna be right are gonna be four of them so we have to multiply by four at the very end so we just do the surface area of a sphere and then at the end we multiply by four so here we plug it in r is equal to 4.75 because half the diameter of 9.5 right is 4.75 plug it in you get the mathematical magic going on there get that processes and then you get a surface area of 283.53 inches squared now we have to multiply it times four so then our total surface area is 1134.11 inches square needed to make four basketballs out of rubber and that is how you do number 15 and hopefully that's 16 right there just an example Hopefully you guys understood what's going on. Again, um, this is the best way that I could not make these videos half hour long. So if you like it, let me know. If you don't, I will do them from scratch. 
Um, well, guys, this is this week's assignment. Hope you guys like it. And take care. Make sure you guys are staying healthy, staying alive, and keeping it PG, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.